Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. In this episode, I'm going to tell you why a flexible build plate has become my number one recommended upgrade for resin printers. Alright, let's get into it. So before we get into the video, I wanted to say thank you to Abdul Gadir Badcook. They recently joined my Patreon to support the channel, and I really appreciate it. So there are a few different companies that offer this flexible build plate system, but I decided to go with Tiny Machines 3D because I had heard really good things about them from the community, and I'm glad that I did. It, it proved to be a really great experience. They're a US-based company, so shipping was really quick and really easy. Their prices are great. They offer a huge selection of sizes so they can fit a bunch of different printer models. Um, even something as simple as the limit switch adapter, which some models might need, was provided on their website and really easy to download and install. So just every part of it, especially their customer service and their attention to detail was really Really impressive. Um, they have an awesome installation video, so anything that you would need, any questions you would have are answered through that, um, to the point that I'm not even going to bother going over installation because it was a really good video. So if you have any questions about that, I'll link the video down below as well as their website to uh, where you can get this flex plate. So I'm not sure who started this trend of printer companies giving you free candy when you buy something from them, but I am all for it. This was an awesome surprise when I popped open this box. The flex plate and the magnet were really well packaged, and the sticker on the front with that QR code was a really awesome touch to be able to scan that and go right to their installation video. Like I said, just really well thought out. Alright, so a quick word of warning. This is actually the second print I did in this flex plate. Um, the first one that I did shot across the room, so worked a little bit too well. That's why I'm being a lot more gentle with this one. I'm working it back and forth, and then when I see the pads start to come up, I go to that area and kind of get my finger under there, with gloves on of course, get my finger under there and you can see the pop right off. But because I had that first experience, that's why I freak out here and almost knock my camera over. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind when you first start using these flex plates until you kind of get a feel for them, just start off gentle because you may end up having your models pop off and fly across the room at Mach 1. But you can see that's exactly what I do with this whole set here. I just gently pry back and forth and, uh, or bend back and forth. And then whenever I see them, uh, the pads start to come up, I just work my finger under there and they pop right off. It's night and day compared to what I was doing before using a scraper and trying to find a spot and, and prying against the bill plate and putting gouges in it. It's not only the concern of, of messing up your build plane having to sand it down often, but there's also the safety concern of potentially slipping off and jamming that sharp scraper into your hand, or heaven forbid if you're using a razor blade or something like that. Um, so yeah, this was just a fantastic investment, and I now highly recommend it for all of my resin printers. Um, so anybody out there who wants to get into resin printing, this is definitely um, a, a pretty necessary upgrade. So you can see here, here's the models. They are amazing. They are from Manuel Boria. They are currently available on his Patreon, and they will be available um, next month on my mini factory. You'll find links for all of it down below. Um, but yeah, they are amazing and I highly recommend you check them out. All right, so in conclusion, if you're on the fence about it or if you didn't know about it, I definitely recommend you pick up one of these flexible build plate systems. They're really helpful and you can see they make a huge difference for removing prints off your build plate. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton and I really appreciate it. And if you like the work that I'm doing here and you want to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon down below. All right, let's go print something. 